this is the cheapest amazon pc that is remotely good i was struggling to actually find a good cheap gaming pc from amazon and this is the best i found this pc came with a i7 3770 even though it was advertised to have a 2600 so i'm guessing that this time instead of them finessing us we finesse them now i'm always trying to stay positive and actually see the good side of things but for this price you could build a much better one at home now let's actually take a look inside of the pc so as you can see there isn't really much to look at everything is intact and pretty minimal the parts are old as the cpu came out in like 2011 so you might as well just consider it used now the biggest bit that all the people fall for is the rgb it makes the pc look good and actually extravagant in a way but it's not that good in reality now as i said this is the best i could find for a cheap price but imagine there are way worse out there now regardless of this you can still find good pcs at a cheap price i'm not even joking for example i paid 300 dollars for this gaming pc that i got from facebook Market. this gaming pc has an rtx 2060 and yeah in terms of the components it's a bit better than the other one that i got from amazon but before i do an fps test on both of them i want to show you guys this website called scdkeys.com here you can get genuine software keys and you can get game keys as well for example i got my windows 10 pro from this website which is amazing and all you need to do is go on their website and search for the windows 10 pro key and then just use the limited time discount code OB25. It will give you a 25% discount, which is amazing. And as you can see, the price went from $29.9 to $16.57. And right now, I'm actually going to use a code to activate my Windows 10 Pro. And this is basically how you do it. It's really easy, as you can see. And yeah, just activate it. And you can also get Microsoft Office using my discount, which is OB25. You're literally gonna get a $17 discount. Their website is great for software and game keys, so make sure to check them out in the description. So firstly, we're actually gonna test the FPS on the Amazon PC. We're gonna go into creative and see how much we get. All right, so the settings that I'm gonna use are gonna be all on low, cause I wanna see the most FPS we're gonna be able to get on this PC. Obviously, if the graphics are relatively low, we're gonna be able to get the most of it. right now i'm on 144 hertz even though my mono is 270 this is because this pc doesn't have a display port it only has an hdmi port which limits the hertz but as you can see in crave we're getting about 360 to 370 fps on all low settings i also want to test the fps in a real match while we're in the sky i'm getting about 100 to 200 fps which is pretty decent i'm not gonna lie but i want to test it out while we're fighting someone to see how much i'm getting in an intense fighting station and as you can see right now i'm getting about yeah 200 170 180 we're gonna see if i'm actually gonna be able to beat this guy my ping is kind of high right now so i'm also sorry that i'm zoomed out on the fps but i just want you guys to see right so i was surprised that this pc didn't go below 100 fps but i'm actually gonna test the other one to see if it gets much better fps or not all right so this is the pc that i got from facebook i'm actually gonna sell it so yeah but for now let's just test the fps and it has an rtx 2060 as i said i got it for 300 dollars which is absolutely insane it was a steal i'm not gonna lie and this is how it looks inside it's a bit more a bit more filled you know but it's still not the best all right so on the cheaper pc i'm actually getting better fps i'm getting about 440 fps in creative with low settings all right so while we're landing i'm getting about 220 fps and in a fighting scenario i'm getting about 180 to 200 even 240 as you can see and yeah i'm not that good on 50 ping but it is what it is so as you can see this pc is a bit better at a much cheaper price which means that you should definitely build your own pc instead of buying an amazon one because it's much better they use old parts or something like that and it's literally not a good value for money 
and yeah, I would obviously recommend building your own PC or finding a good deal on Facebook or something like that. And that's because you can build one for the same price, which is gonna be much better. And that's the best alternative you could go for. Now, this $300 PC actually won the test, but I'm still gonna show you guys some good quality gameplay on the Amazon PC. 